you could do that for me. Thank you. Okay, so now I type, it. got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, welcome everybody. I'm so glad everybody is here. Oh yes, we, we all have a uh, little see signs. You now. Signs for Susan. That. I can't. I can't do it. Well, I got to change the background. So we'll, we'll have to do that when we do the picture. And, yes. and Karen's going to keep me on track. Karen is my my uh, keeper on tracker person. Oh, pilot. Oh, pilot. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Me and she, and dog. And, and so I've got. If you can be in charge of muting everybody. If that would be awesome. And Brandy and Karen, if you can be in charge of no, letting can't people quite in. Make out not Susan's. Uh, yeah. What's that? Still can't make out what not Susan was showing up there. Oh, not yeah, Susan. Uh, you got to use a, a oh, Sharpie or cute. something. That's pretty good, actually. You can see that. Very good. Hey, Susan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we can see it. it. Yeah. What's oh, the, uh, kiwi? That's okay. a kiwi. 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 That was nice really good, job. actually. Nice, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> no, so not not Susan. So you're going to be second. So I'm going to send everybody to their rooms to come up with their names because I have the power, and I'm going to really do my best to uh, abuse admit, it. Yeah, as well as <laughs> to say things incorrectly, and when I go onto people's teams, to not be able to answer questions, and <laughs> the and that team will have the lowest score. I'll do my best, but we'll see if I can do. That. I think Susan and I have a lot in common with regards to the <laughs> to trivia. So I think it might kind of turn out that way. So I'm going to open up all the rooms. Have fun. Ooh, never done that before. Yay, well done, Adrian. <laughs> you can kill me afterwards for, for, for the selection of groups. <laughs> it's kind of random. So Janine, are you still here? Do I have you on a team? Yes, I do. So Janine, I think you're frozen. Oh, there we go. Nice. I guess it's recording me. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Hello. Hi, Gail. How are you? Should I send you to your room? Uh huh. <laughs> so I, you're... I'm late, but you know, it's I'm gl glad you made it because I was asking Jamie. I said, "Oh, Gail, somebody, she's got a category. Oh, it looks like it's going to be something about the world. That'll be exciting." All right, so I'll send you to your room, but you're not going to be there for very long. I'll give you another minute, and then I'm going to bring everybody back. Okay. Okay. What 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 room am I in? You're going to be in room four. Oh, okay. I was just talking to Susan while the recording was on and I had my microphone muted. How good is that? Uh, <laughs> okay. oh, so smart, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I've got to go to the score thingy, my bobber. Welcome, Gail. This is this is a pretty good turnout for uh, for a Thanksgiving it, evening. It's actually oh. I'm really thrilled with this. It's excellent. Yeah. All right. So let me just pull this up. I hope Susan doesn't take it personally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could copy paste or do I have to type? We're I've, just all here because we were told this is going to be a really short trivia night. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, room number one, Brandy, Lee, and Ron, what is your team name? Hey, Susan, have you seen any put puteki teki? Oh. oh, so I've got to say that. Hey, Susan, have you seen any puteki teki? Oh, did I do a good Susan? Very good. You got it. <laughs> oh, then I didn't do a good Susan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got lots more chances to blow it. Don't worry. Uh, oh, Yeah. <laughs> All right. So is so is Gail intending us to guess what the heck is the significance of the of of uh, most yeah. of the world being done in blue and some countries in red? <laughs> and if you knew that significance, you'd know my category. So I'm not going to tell you yet. There oh. you go. All right, now room number two: Faith Romero, Cat, and not Susan. What is your name? Pardon my kiwi. 
Oh, that's good. I can say that one. Pardon Instead of kiwi. pardoning turkeys, we're pardoning a kiwi. Ex uh, I love it. That's right. That is a U.S. thing, isn't it? Pardoning the turkey. All right. So room number three, which is Ooh, Jamie. No. Sorry. Jamie, Kevin, and Sarah. Yep. Hold on. I have to copy it. Ooh, one second. Yeah, no worries. Okay, um, everyone, this is for the geeks. Yay. And so you have to figure this one out. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I, I know what it is. I know what it is. I I'm a geek. Eight. Oh. Yes, I over eight. Exactly. Yeah. Yay. Very good. <laughs> and for those watching, uh, you could explain the, the figures that exactly. are listed here. Yeah, um, the square root of negative one is the... Um, the imaginary number i in mathematics and physics. So mm -hmm. i over eight. Wonderful. Clever. I over eight. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, I get it I now. just got it. And <laughs> folks, you can see that later, age, Susan Adrian Gerbic will show the team names, and then you can see it if you're not imagining it now. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Does she do that before we go to, to our first? No. Okay, no. at, on the second one, or yeah. when we're doing the scores. Correct, yeah, exactly. you're doing yeah. great. <laughs> oh, gee. That's... Uh, and, uh, okay, gee, I so... could do a similar thing to, to, to Jamie's, except, uh, uh, oh, maybe I could, eh. So I've got Carolyn, Gail, Carl, and Vincent. Judges of orders are not. Trump still makes me gag. Can someone read it, please. Oh, judges' <laughs> orders are not. Trump still makes me gag. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Mm. All right, and group number five, which is <laughs> Cindy, uh, Janine, Jim, and Karen. Um. We're kind of a little disagreement, but I want to go with the badge to badge. Yes. yes. No, it's a vape. Do you want to type it in for them? Yes, sure. please. In the news. Okay. So I guess nobody found something to do with the Rainbow Bridge thing. <laughs> oh, I oh. like Kevin's version. He put square root of negative one divided by eight pi. Ah. So it's <laughs> <laughs> I yes. over eight pi. I over eight pi. <laughs> That's a good addition. Okay. Um, I wanted to do the Rainbow Bridge, but I got voted down. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't that crazy. That footage on the bridge. Have you seen that? I think so. Yeah. 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 What, what, what happened? happened? That place could explode like a it looks like It looks like the driver probably had a medical emergency. His and, vehicle veered off and accelerated and crashed into like right next to the Border Patrol station. Yeah. And it, wow. did you see the videos of it? It actually yeah. looks like a movie. It, it's blue. going yeah. through the air. Yeah. yeah it just he, went. It looked like he veered off, hit the curb, and then the vehicle became airborne and yeah. spun. Yeah, wow. it, it was like out of a movie. It was crazy. Yeah. Mm. So sad. The badge, the badge, no, it's a vape, right? That's the name of the group? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have. <laughs> hey, Susan, have you seen any? Some fun. <laughs> oh, now you're getting it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm doing a much better Susan now, aren't I? <laughs> Except minus right. the giggles. I got to take the giggles away. Pardon okay. My... <laughs> I was thinking of something like Faith and Romero's, but except that uh, I wasn't sure how to get the uh, uh, the mathematical. Uh, <laughs> oh, I oh, it's getting crazy. Okay, I'll go. Uh, I got to do this again. Group number one. Hey, Susan, you have have you seen any Puteke Teke? Group two. <laughs> gotta do my susan um, <laughs> oh, sorry group, yep. <laughs> group two techie, techie. <laughs> pardon my kiwi group three uh i over eight judges a uh, group four judges orders or not trump still makes me gag and 
The last group, number five, the badge, the badge. No, it's a vape. And there's some very clever formulas that are uh, puns and phrases in the chat. So when we're, we're gonna uh, we're gonna hold up little messages for Susan later on, you might want to write those formulas down to hold up so that people, if they're watching the video, because we know at least Susan will, and uh, <laughs> they can get your clever jokes as well. Uh, oh yeah, that's really good. I like vapes. That <laughs> I ate some pie. <laughs> That's really I good too. Pie. Yeah, what is two it to the pie? power three. Yeah. I like the two to the power three edition. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. So yes, please do that. Keep some pie. <laughs> All right. Or, I guess uh, or square root of minus one, uh, two to the minus three. <laughs> now I need to give Ron his superpowers. You're not going to read. Oh, you did all that stuff already. Okay, I did all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I attempted to. I attempted to do my Susan. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> It was just too fast. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, should I talk some more? Uh, I, you get me talking. You'll you'll uh, regret that. Okay. So so Adrian's going to do her thing, and Ron's preparing to give his category. He'll announce the category, and then, per Adrian's instructions, I will mute all. But first, we'll hear his category when Adrian's ready. Yeah, go ahead. I'm ready. I just gave you your superpower, so you should be able to. Uh, send everyone to their rooms later on ron but you are free to get going okay so um i decided to come up with the one that looking at this crew probably very few of you are going to have a clue about but oh well such is life <laughs> um the category for today is everybody's favorite computer programming languages oh. and platforms <laughs> oh <laughs> Preparing to mute in three, <laughs> two, one. Are you okay. mute? Will you, can you mute uh, Ron too? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to very soon. Um, just to. Ron, you're muted. Ron, you're muted. I, I unmuted and it just muted back again. Oh, yeah, well. there you go. Yeah, G given the fact that I don't think we've got a lot of people who've written a line of code in their lives before, um, I thought I would make this a little bit more interesting. Um, so I'm going to give you a sample of what I'm going to be doing here. So for each language or platform, I'm going to give you a clue, which is a boring, nerdy clue about the language itself. And then in parentheses afterwards, I'm going to give you a totally nonsensical hint that might give you an idea of what the language is called if you have no idea. So for example, created in 1957, this is a general purpose compiled imperative programming language that's especially suited to numeric computation, computation and scientific computing, in parentheses. It is also good for those undergoing a sex change. Oh. Good, I could get that one. Is that I know question that. one? Can it be a question this one? Is, this, I know what this is. is not the actual one. So if anyone's got it, you can yell it out now. Fortran. Oh, no. Binary. It may be the only one we know. <laughs> and so it's Fortran. And the parenthesis is because it's Fortran. Somebody undergoing a sex change. So mm -hmm. that's the kind of, of uh, hints that I'm going to be throwing at those people who have no idea what the language is. They'll be better than that one. So I took Fortran in college. Um, yeah, and I gave it back when I was done. Um, you're supposed to give the programming language? Yes. Yeah, so what you're going to be coming out with is programming language, given how much people have experienced, if you come with something remotely close based upon the little hint in parentheses, I probably will give it to you. Um, so, and you'll, you'll see why once we get to, to, uh, to some of these. So here's the first one. Number one. Where did my, oops, I forgot the number. Hang on a second. Now we do number one. This language created in 1995 is a high level class-based object-oriented programming language designed to have a few implementation dependencies as possible. It's a general purpose programming language to let the programmers write once, run anywhere, that when compiled, it can run on all platforms that support it without the need to recompile. Parentheses, you need to drink a lot of it to use it. And any of you programmer types probably know this one. 
number two. This is a general purpose computer programming, la programming language created in 1972 by Dennis Ritchie. It remains very widely used and influential. It has found lasting use in operating systems, device drivers, and protocol stacks, but its use in application software has been decreasing. It is commonly used on computer architectures that range from the largest supercomputers to the smallest microcontrollers and embedded systems. Variants are red, yellow, Irish, and Caspian. Am I the only one that wishes the extra hints weren't there? Um, I was assuming you and if uh, your your other K person was here would have been the other one who would have thought the same thing. <laughs> I got them both so far. Oh, good. All right. This is a general purpose, high level object oriented programming language created for Microsoft in 2000 by Anders Helsberg. Originally named Cool, it was renamed due to trademark reasons. If you don't, insert the language name here, you will be flat. This language, which first appeared in 1993, is a programming language for statistical computing and graphics. Its most common use is to analyze and visualize data. Very popular on Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> this language invented by Grace Hopper in 1959 is a compiled English-like computer programming language designed for business use. It is an imperative procedural and, since 2002, object-oriented language. It is primarily used in business, finance, and administrative systems for companies and governments. Both Lauren Green and Edward James almost phone home. Number six. This general purpose language was invented at Xerox Park in 1972. It is object oriented, was originally created for educational use. Although not as popular as it once was, there's a modern open source implementation called Squeak that is still quite active, popular with Lilliputians. Number seven, this is an integrated risk management platform created in 2001, primarily geared towards governance, risk, and compliance, GRC. It is expanded to include ESG, audit, and public sector, among other areas. It's also what I specialize in. In its spare time, it captains the Enterprise NX01. Number eight, this cloud computing platform was created in 2003, originally as GlideSoft Inc. to help companies manage digital workflows for enterprise operations. It is a platform as a service that allows for the operation of enterprise and technical management support systems, such as IT service management and help desk functionality. The company's core business revolves around management of incident problem and change IT operational events. Ega Swiatek is tired of waiting to start the game. I didn't say they were great clues. Number nine, this language created in 1972 in France is associated with artificial intelligence and computational linguistics. It is a declarative and rule-based rather than machine learning language. As William Shakespeare said in The Tempest, what's past is this. And finally, I'm sure you're all happy to hear, number 10. <laughs> this is a series of programming languages developed between 1962 and 1967 at AT&T Bell Labs. It was one of a number of text string oriented languages developed during the 1950s and 60s. Others include Commit or Comet and Track. 
it caused quite a revolt on someone's animal farm. And that's that. I'm sure you're Yay. all just going to do wonderfully on this one. Um, so anyways, any questions? Any answers? Okay. Ron, let, yes. Why do you hate us? <laughs> I thought it was really interesting. I like I'm how kidding. you get dance. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I have a much easier bonus one for so, the next time I do one. So I'm going to make up for it. Okay. I've got a fine breakout room. The hints are appreciated. I know Carl is fine without them, but. There was, a, there was at least one language I was sure you were going to put in there and you didn't. Uh, it was the only one I could have answered. Yeah, I thought you're, you're talking about basic. No. No. Oh, well, anyways. Um, he was. Okay. Pass that I, one off my list. Well, I didn't say it's not in there, but. Uh, um, okay. Everybody ready to go to their rooms? Okay. There, there, there are a couple where, the, where the hint gave it to me. Yes. Okay. Thanks for help. Have fun. As I'm supposed to be in room three. I literally just joined, so I'm wherever I am. Okay. And unfortunately, Kevin, your team really needed you because they were clueless about the stuff, and I know you knew some of the I answers. I got three answers. I gave them yeah. one or two, and I was supposed to go be the no-keeper. Just right. send me to room two. Can you send me to room three? Uh, I just closed everything. I, well, when they get back here, if you want, I can give them like another minute or two for yeah, you to catch I got them up. Three answers in my head. I got to read the rest of the questions. I might have a couple more. Yeah. Okay. Well, when, when everyone gets here in another minute or so, we'll do that. Okay. Kyle, your timing sucks. You would have been really good at this one. You can send him to room three as well. Uh, <laughs> well, I can't. I can't do that stuff. I'm going to have to leave that to the uh, to the bosses. You guys sent me to the wrong room. Oh no! Sorry, that was me. Oh, um, yeah, I couldn't get a message can, back. I went to them twice and said, "Tell them to send me to room three. Can I ask a favor then? Because um, I know that Kevin's team didn't do very well on this, and Kevin has a bunch of the answers that I got he at least provided. Three, I get three answers. I haven't read most of the questions. So if we just reopen the rooms for maybe another uh, couple of minutes, they can anybody who wants to can go out there and uh, finish up, but mainly for them. Sure, no, that's good. Kyle has joined us. Welcome, Kyle. Hey, yeah. hey good evening, so everybody. So which team should I put Kyle on, huh? After Fine. the scoring. After the scoring. After oh, the yeah. Scoring. After scoring? Yeah. So anyone who wants to go to the rooms can may do so, and those who want to stay here may stay here. They might want to go there and make negative answers <laughs> to get <Yeah>. Kyle. <laughs> room three. <laughs> room three, not let's room go. two. Let's go, guys. Okay, move so, Kevin to what room, Kevin? Room, I'll, I'll room do it. Three. Room three? <laughs> All right, there we go. get it. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to see everybody. You're doing great, Adrian. Am I doing okay? <laughs> I giggle way too much, though, I have to say. Steven, thank you for coming. Him. Glad you're here. Yay. Sure thing. Yeah, good to see you, Vincent. I <laughs> hope everything went well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it did. I was... Uh... I forced myself to recover quickly. So, yeah. oh dear. <laughs> the, the trick is to um, not be on um, hydromorphone. So, and um, as soon as I was off that, then it was kind of like, oh, you can go home now. But as soon as I was, off, and then if I took the hydromorphone still, then they would have kept me in the hospital a lot longer. So, um, Stephen, did you make it into the correct room, or Adrian did? He he made it into my room. Yes, okay. uh, he, and we were very happy that he. Yay! Did. Perfect timing, <laughs> Stephen's <to> rescue. <laughs> Besides, he has a really all, good. But night. I knew a few. Lee, for the for the beginning of the holiday season, I brought out my fa la 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 llama. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and Lee, of course, raises llamas in addition to having an adorable dog. Or maybe two. Several. Yeah. several. I was uh, going to say more than one. More, more, more dogs than I want to talk about. But <gasps> just say, let's just say I have a county permit for uh, for having a kennel. Oh. Oh. That's great. 
Lee, I need pictures. Yeah, my wife, my wife and I used to breed and show dogs. So yeah, I have a few dogs. What did you, oh, you know? Gail does did too, or does? Yeah, I'm, in fact, I'm still a licensed AKC judge. Oh, what, did you, what breed did you show? Uh, Tibetan spaniels. Oh, and, I love them. Yeah, and we did Tibetan mastiffs, but it's really hard to get enough to you know make any points with. So we basically just have Tibetan mastiffs for. Uh, you know, around the ranch. Wow, but, I didn't uh, know they were an AKC breed yet. They hadn't been when I was doing this. Yeah, but Tibetan Spaniels are great. I love it. It's a fun little yeah. breed. They are. And Gail has an interesting breed, or did, I, did. Yeah, well, I, we used to breed Brussels Griffons and, oh my. and Great Pyrenees. Yeah. Well, many, many years ago, we had Brussels Griffons, but that's where <laughs> I know you. That's where I know you from, Gail, back 20 years ago. I was really surprised when I first saw you on this. I'm like, wait a minute, I can go. You know, I didn't remember seeing you, but I've always thought you seemed familiar. That's probably yeah. why. Yeah. It's a small dog world. Yeah. <laughs> With giant dogs. <laughs> well, no, Griffons. Not, boy what about really the big. Grand Pyrenees? Aren't they big? Or whatever? Yeah, they're, they're, they're giant. Big. In fact, that's how we got the Griffons. We we started with Pyrenees. And that's they're like a horse dog. Done. But we got the Griff. Because I said, someday I'm going to want to do this and I'm going to be too old to run around a ring with the great big Pyrenees. And the little Griff is going to be a good idea. <laughs> so we Did anyone watch them. the uh, National Dog Show today? Oh, gosh, I should have. I recorded yeah. it. I stopped oh, with the non-herding, the non-herding dogs. <laughs> non-herding is not a group. Okay, it was a herding. Herding they is finished, a group. <laughs> yeah, they finished the herding. <laughs> they finished the herding and then... Then I stopped it. <laughs> so do you think we should give them the two-minute warning now? Yeah. Um, all right. There we go. It looked like oh, it was 60 seconds. So why is it doing only 60 seconds? At I don't know. It's a weird thing, huh? When it's Rob when Rob Palmer's how, not here. Yeah. yeah. It, I think it reverts to that unless you change it. Adrian, do you have my keys? Oh, did, did I? You know, your mom and I were joking about that. Oh, uh, <laughs> and there they are. Yeah. <laughs> we were wow. saying, watch, I'm going to forget to give them back. And she says, you better remember to bring them back. <laughs> yeah. How far apart do you live? Uh, Fairways. <laughs> fair long ways. Yeah, yeah I got to catch a plane tomorrow, but I might be able to bring them over early. Oh, it's it's fine. Whatever. I have my keys. So oh, that... you've got you've got a set. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, your mom and I we joked about that actually. <laughs> I said, with knowing my brain, I'll forget to give them back to her, and she says, and knowing her brain, <laughs> she'll forget to ask me. <laughs> that certainly yeah. came true. Oh, so sorry okay, about I that. I think we're going to take a three and inject Kyle. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Okie dokie, we're all back. Okay. At least I got a slightly better score than they would have had, so I feel good. That's better. good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay, so very quickly, we'll get this torture over with here um, and work through the question, the answers. Uh, number one, I think most of the teams got the answer to. You, we all need this in the morning, whether we're programmers or not. Mm -hmm. It's Java. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Number yeah, two that. is the language that followed the language called B, and it's called C. They were not very creative back in those days. <laughs> and in this case, for number three, if you don't C sharp, you will be flat. Um, there's also an A sharp, though. <laughs> nope, there was C sharp. You were, you had the wrong wrong part of the uh, the notes. Yeah, but A sharp. Oh, gotcha. Didn't yeah. describe it. Okay. And number four, talk like a pirate. R. R. Language is R. <laughs> R. One which Kyle, I assume, is very familiar with. Yes. Um, number five, if you watch Battlestar Galactica, you call phone home because the home world was COBOL. Yep. I would have accepted oh. either spelling, by the way. Yep, there it is, <laughs> R Studio, which is where you do your R programming. Yep. 
Okay. Uh, for all you Lilliputians here, I think Janine's the only one I know of. Um, <laughs> it's small talk. Uh, okay. And I was very surprised that people had as much trouble with number seven because NX01 was piloted by Jonathan Archer, mm. which is what I spend my life doing these days. <laughs> number eight, uh, if you know, Iga Swiatek is the number one women's tennis player in the world. Oh, and she's that's patient, where I know the name. And she is very impatient because she wants a service now. Mm. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Does she also want a python? Um, <laughs> but we don't know that. She, she might, but that's for a different wrong. purpose. That's uh, for a different purpose. I, know, I thought about using python. Player, maybe not. Yeah. She wants some hostage tape on her mouth, though. Yeah, right, Adrian. <laughs> That's where I knew the name. I knew I knew the name. Oh my yep. goodness! Yeah. And from the Tempest, the past is prologue. Prologue. I actually did program in that back in the seventies, and I was going to do one based upon throwing a white thing around in the winter, but that was too obvious for number ten. The answer is snowball. Oh. Uh the that other pig. The, the, the other pig in mm. uh in Animal Farm. Yeah. 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 And and there they are. Thank you are you, now Ronnie. all master programmers. <laughs> you guys actually did better than Thank I was you, Ron. I got so, three of the first floor, but then I got no and, more. And team <laughs> two, we actually did get number seven because he strong armed me in changing it as we were coming out of the room. And I'm glad oh, good. We there you go. Okay. For Back the record, you. I got one for the team. Yay! It's so rare. I just <laughs> let it stay. <laughs> okay. Well, All right, so score time. Yep, score time. So we'll start with, hey, Susan, have you seen any Puta Kata Teki? So, so <laughs> if you can share your screen, we will oh. share your experience. Oh. oh, that would be fun. All right. So we got seven. Seven. Nicely nice. done. Nice. All right. All right. I, didn't kill, I didn't kill my team. <laughs> <laughs> and pardon my Kiwi. I almost forgot to read. We got nine. Ooh. Ooh. We couldn't Ooh. come up with Snowball. <sighs> <laughs> and uh, I, I over eight. We got three. And probably Kyle. I over eight. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> And judges orders or not, Trump still makes me gag. Um, <laughs> what was that? Ten. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Ooh. Carl got oh, ten. Carl, Carl got ten. <laughs> <laughs> He's still upset that I gave hints. Yes. <laughs> we like the hints. All right. The badge, the badge. No, it's a vape. That was actually one of the best six. average scores I've ever had in one of mine so far. Amazing. So six. We get our strategy for work, guys. Category. Our strategy work, guys. We got Kyle. You got me around too late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel average and I'm happy with it. Yeah, you would have probably helped out a lot with that one, Kyle. But if we would have got 10, then we wouldn't have you. So it's a yeah, it's a catch 22. That's you right. It. It's a temporal paradox. <laughs> if you have a time machine, we could fix it now. <laughs> I, I do have a time machine over here. <laughs> All right. So I guess up next is Alan. Are you ready to go? Oh, nice. Hot Hot season. Is that right? One Steiner after another. Uh, I right. know. It doesn't end. <laughs> There's three of them here tonight. That's, That's right. True. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, I, 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 bear with me. You know how slow I am with this stuff. That's but okay. Here we go. So, okay. So here is um, the. I, I did practice this, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, okay, let's do this. What's your category? Um, Not Susan. Um, hang on. Um, it is. Okay, so it is how long's the wait? Uh, now, uh, I, I, I have been informed by my baby brother that um this is actually more of a of a uh what do you call it a, uh, a bonus, bonus. Bo the way i did it i didn't really think about it but we'll we'll do it anyway because i do think there is room for discussion here so it's okay. that all right 
So here we go. Um, okay. Now, um, let me do this and do this and do this. And where did you guys go? Did, there you did are. Did Karen disappear? I'm here. Go oh, where is okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to paste now. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so uh, there are 119 land border crossings between Canada and the U.S. Mm. Uh, below, I will list the 20 crossings with the highest volume of personal vehicular traffic, southbound only, that's going into the States. This is based on data from the U.S. Bureau of Transportation Statistics. I have mixed up the order. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to list the top 10 in any order. Okay. Um, I have given both ends of the crossings in the, in the possible event that it helps. Um, and you know what? Just as a bonus, if you can get number one, specifically number one and number two, and in the correct order, yeah, you, you get a bonus point. Okay. Excellent. But no Excellent. higher than 10, right? But no high, no higher than ten. Uh, and I, I, I will, I will tell you this: I, that you can. I, there's going to be obviously a certain amount of guesswork, but I think uh, there may be also some logic. This is why I wanted to make sure there were some, there were a dual citizens on this on this evening. It's here. a good night okay. for it. Yeah. Oh, so yes. land border crossings. I'm trying to ask so a very non land border question. crossings, but that I think includes uh, bridges and stuff. Okay. And these are all the people no. fleeing Canada. They're fleeing Canada for the. Oh, uh, oh yes. Do we take into account exploding cars at the yes. border? <laughs> hey, I, I, did you go my my sixth grade my sixth grade um, uh, uh, trip uh, in el elementary school was to right to there, but there was no exploding cars at the time. So, um, Alan, you're uh, asking about individual crossings, not locations of crossings, right? Uh, like you'll for, see. If there were the city with 100 crossings, all 100 of those crossings would be eligible. You're not just going by the city. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there is at least one that is a combo. But uh, you'll see, and I went going through wasn't always terribly clear when I was trying to figure them out. But you'll, you'll, you'll sort of get the gist here. Um, uh, for the most part, it's, it's one. Just okay. think of it as one. And what I've done, I've given you the cities um, at, at either end. Or the towns or locations at either end, so, and that's so that's what hopefully that, that, right. You're okay, so, cut and paste that. So I am about to cut and paste, and then you guys, whoops, uh, you guys get to have your way with it. So um, okay. hopefully, I did I did this right. And land border crossing includes includes bridges, but no, not ferries. <laughs> Correct. It's not not water, not air. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we go. Let's do this. And hopefully, just let me know if, if everything is in there. And I hopefully they came out numbered just so you can separate them. Because the way it'll the way it shows up may be kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, all right. Good. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's okay. perfect. All right. Thank so you. all you got to do, don't worry about that. I, I numbered them just to differentiate between uh, between crossings. All you got to do is get the, the top 10 of these 20 in any order. Oh. Have fun or else. And Kyle goes to number three, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, my personal assistant. Uh, I'm uh, ready. Um, okay, Karen. Yep. Uh, what, what vice am I president. Okay, how do I get around? Can I just get her? So, can yes. I get her? Yes, this is what you do. So see at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Whoops, let me enlarge, let me enlarge it. Hang on a second. Close um, your chat. What am I looking for? So see down at the bottom, do you see reactions, apps? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So it may seem Breakout more... rooms. Okay. Breakout so rooms. So when you touch yeah. on that, touch on breakout rooms. All right. So I can just go to whatever room I yes. want to go to. So what you do then is you do join. You click join and you will go to that room. And then you just keep doing that. You can join and join. But here's the thing, Alan, is when you call, when we close the rooms, when you close all rooms, 
make sure to you're in your home room when you do that function. Otherwise, you will be what like I that? am right now in the wrong place. Can somebody send me to my the correct room for me? Please? Okay, so which room do you I, need to go to? Uh, this is the one with three. me and three. Yeah, and, and so right three. Oh, no, I should be in room. No, one. you should be in room one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was in. I was in three. Two, one. There you go. There go. Now you. and and Alan, to answer your question, you are in room two. Okay. So make thank sure you. you're in room two when you close when you finish. Door. Okay, go go play. Thank and I'll you. Go pl I'm gonna go and join room two because I'm Alan now. That is so no. weird. Oh, there you so are. I Do you know why no. I couldn't? Because you're not Susan. I was looking for Alan Steiner. Oh, good grief. Okay. Now okay, you should so now I have okay, but now when I press breakout room, yeah. ah, now okay. I got it. Now I, I got gave it. you the Thank powers. You. I gave you the yeah. powers. It okay. worked. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I've got to go to room two. That's your room, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was that fun. was a fun category. I like that. Welcome back, Welcome. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just have to think are where are the where are these relative to fairly major cities and uh in both sides of the border? <laughs> yeah. Right. So we're ready for the answers, dear leader. Yes. And you're so muted. Okay, so what I'm going to do, hopefully I didn't, I don't believe I screwed this up. What I am going to do is I am <laughs> going to read you the, just the top, to, I'll, I'll post them when I've finished reading. I will okay. read you in order from 10 to 1, the top. Uh, couple, couple, I think a couple of you guys talked yourselves out of some things. but Oh, probably, um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which was kind of what I was hoping, I was hoping there'd be some discussion uh, for this. Okay. Number 10, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Oh, Ooh. good, good addition. Which Which's the number for that number. one? So number seven. Okay. That was number seven? Number nine. Number, seven. number nine, St. Stephen, New Brunswick to Calais, Maine. Oh. Give me the number. What number? Okay. Give us the number. Okay. Number the nine. Number, please. Now, the number of the on your list, Alan. Gosh. Oh shit! I don't. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't. I didn't think to do it that way. Oh hell. Okay, it's okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Well, we need. Okay, to hang on. What was the first? What did I say? The first one. Well, have to, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to go back and forth. First one. Okay, Sault Saint Marie was. Uh, Sault Saint Marie on that seven. list should have it's been number seven. Seven. Number, seven. Seven. Number, seven. number seven. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Saint Stephen. Saint was Stephen. One. Okay, you guys know what it is. Good. You guys can tell. Yeah, okay, Saint enough. Stephen was number one. Number eight of the top ten, Cornwall, Ontario, to Messina, New York. That's number eleven. Number eleven. Okay, number eleven. So that's a, okay. So there's a one. There's a there's a diff one. I number got. seven, Abbotsford, British Columbia, to Sumas, Washington. Oh, number four. So number four. Okay. Number six, Boundary Bay, British Columbia. Oh. Number twenty. Point Roberts, Washington. Oh, oh. really? I didn't know um, that was a big one. Number five, La Colle, Province de Quebec, to Champlain Rousse Point. So that's 15. Right. That's number that's, 15. That's 15? number 15. Okay, number four, Sarnia, Ontario, to Port Huron, Michigan. I know number that's 19. 19. No, 19. Yeah, 19. That's yeah, I, I knew that had to be way up there. Yeah. Um number three is Douglas, British Columbia to Blaine, Washington. Which number three. three. Now I okay. Number two. Okay, number two, Windsor to Detroit. Yes, oh. we got it, but we thought it was uh, number, 14. Uh, number fourteen. And, uh, Sarah, what's the story? You, you, I, I, I actually talked to you about that yesterday. And you got it right. You I think you guys turned it around. My okay, fault. all yeah. right. And number one is uh, Fort Erie, 
uh, Niagara Falls. Number nine. Uh, uh, so what is the Buffalo, bonus again, Alan? Buffalo, Niagara okay. Falls. This was confusing, this one, because there's actually a whole bunch of crossings there. Mm-hmm. There's uh, uh, there's Buffalo. There, There's uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Niagara Falls. Um, there's another one. What's it called? Um, oh, no. Um, Fort Erie, Niagara Falls, the Buffalo, Niagara Falls is the one. There, the there's one. There's uh, one. Um, I forgot what it's. Damn, I forgot what it was called. Yeah. Right. Alan, so, Alan, how does the bonus I, work? Sorry. Alan, I'd like to throw. I'd like to ask to throw myself on the mercy of the court. If mm-hmm. if people got the top two, but they got them in a different order, might you be merciful and yeah. offer them the extra? Point we got them the in the right team? order. Please, Alan, your team yeah. will appreciate you. Um, uh, I'm sorry. You get the chair. No. Uh, no, that was that. That was the whole point of that one. Thank that you. one little yeah. one. You got to get that in the right order. Okay. Uh, and it and the, the had key... to be in the right order. Hey, yes. No. no just the last two for the bonus. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the, hey, the key, the uh, thing, the bonus. thing with number one and number two is they reverse when you talk about commercial truck traffic. So you had That's, to know that it was it was uh, personal vehicles, which we obviously uh, knew. And and if you yes, which we knew. And if you've ever sat in line there and tried to cross, you know mm-hmm. there any of those. And by the way, right now you don't want to go cross Sarnia, which is usually what I would do going back to Toronto because they're redoing the bridges and the wait is like a couple hours. So you hey, don't want to uh, go that way. Okay. I must uh, I must have missed one of the one of the early ones you said because because I because when I add up the check marks and the numbers that I wrote down that weren't in my list I I only get nine. Well, then you get a penalty, so it's one less point. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you the numbers real quick. Okay, put can you uh, put them in the chat then, uh, please, um, Alan. Well, actually, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. I, they, yeah, they're so not sorry. with the, they're not with the correct numbers though. So that's I okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oops. Um, yeah. The numbers are one, three, four, seven, eleven. Oh, one, oh, one. No. oh, 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 oh! Number one is one of them. Okay, so okay, yeah. so I've got another check mark. One, what, what's three, the Powerball number? One, three, four, <laughs> seven, nine, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. Bingo. And 19. And 19. And 20. Thank you, Alan. And 20. And 20. Oh, okay. So. We got six, Jim. Depending on what order you put, one, two, uh, we three, put four, uh, five, six. Erie and Suma. Okay. Okay. So, Suma, got, uh, so, okay. so I've got six check marks uh, and uh, and four that I didn't, uh, four that are in the top 10 that I wasn't on the list, that yeah. wasn't on my list. Yeah. Uh, all right. But by, by the way, do you care at all about the other ten? It doesn't really matter. No, because they're, no. they're, they're, they're all in the middle of nowhere anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's like, like three people in Manitoba and four people in North, near North Dakota. Unless so it was number eleven. Score scores. Okay, score, we're going to do some scores now. So we'll start with the square root team. We got what seven. Are, seven, nicely done. All right, and next we'll go with the badge. The badge, though it's a vape. So that's six. Okay. And next is, hey, Susan, have you seen that unpronounceable name? (laughs) (laughs) We we got eight plus the bonus, so we get a nine. Ooh, nice. All right. Well done. (laughs) And next is, pardon my Kiwi. Iris is getting seven. Yeah. Nice. (laughs) Too bad. And... Judge's orders or not, Trump still makes me gag. Okay. We had eight. So uh done. Okay, so uh great. So, so the second team doesn't want their kiwi fruit cut up. <laughs> that, that's right. All right. I guess so, is it break time now? It is break time. time. Picture, and before we take time. a picture, I was gonna mention something. Yes, go ahead. Um, for the record, we are looking officially at game number 190, 190 in yes. season four of Social Trivia with Susan, which is such a force that it carries on, even though she's half a planet away. Exactly. I did forget to say game number, didn't I? Thank you, That's Karen. Okay. My, team. my vice team. president. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, so we have to and who has the pictures. ability to take a picture of of all twenty of us? Let's see. While you're I, holding a sign. Well, yeah. While I'm, I can do that. I just have to pull. I'm eating my just sign. Get, just oh, I didn't know about this. All I got. Is like Don't a have paper. a sign. Yeah. You have time because I'm pulling up my snappy thingy. Okay, so Lord, I don't know why it's so not Lord, give up. us a sign. <laughs> snappy thingy. Yeah, the snippy tooly thingy. You know, Wait, it's not nugget. pulling up. Yeah, I've got to oh, snag man. it, and I also um, have the snipping tool, and neither want to. Hey, let's see. We'll control try this one. shift S. Even will getting a open piece of paper. paper. I got her. Okay. Oh, oh, that's so good. We'll I've... take your. We'll take your handsome face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is everybody ready? Ready. Hi. <laughs> All right, I think. Uh, just give me a second. This one works differently than the other one I usually use. I think oh. it worked. Okay, I think we got her. Yay! It looks good. I love the drawings. They came out any really birthdays? well. Any birthdays? Do we have any birthdays? Oh, well, my, uh, my brother had a birthday about a week. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember that out. when you're uh, chatting over the break, remember that the recording is still activated. Oh, nice mug cat. Show everybody your mug. Yeah. That's right. I'm showing off my mug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good mug. Really so we'll good. Be back this was a beautiful minutes. gift. Yep. Oh, uh, Sarah, are you oh. leaving? Sarah, yeah. thanks yeah. for joining us. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye. Thanks, for, thanks for coming. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll say goodbye to all and uh, Bye, Jim. see you in a week. Bye, again. Jim. Thank Bye, you for Jim. your expertise. Yeah, and uh, I have to leave too. Unfortunately, I'm. Oh, uh, you're fading. Some rest hey, to what, a, what a trooper! What a trooper! You did some rest to feel better, Vincent. Yeah, it you was did wonderful amazing. seeing you, Vincent. I'm so yeah. glad thanks for coming on short notice. You know, Bye, Vincent. Yeah. Yeah. It was great you came. Bye, yeah, take care. Get well, everybody. Good night. Bye. Now, while everybody breaks, I'm going to mute myself because I have to feed. I have to feed my cat who keeps biting me. Oh, oh. yeah! You're probably going to the bathroom and just don't want to hear us to hear. The is this noise, your right? new one that keeps biting <laughs> you, or is that Squatchy? Oh, it's Quatch. Um, he has a full dish full of food, but if I don't give him a formal invitation to eat it. He'll just sit here and keep biting me. <laughs> so, that sounds like my dog. My dog's crate's wide open for her. She comes and gets me to take her to bed. Right? I, I recently saw a video of a guy tries to feed the dog and the dog won't eat it. Then he picks it up, puts it on the counter, makes believe he's chopping it, doesn't do anything to it, opens the microwave, closes it, pushes the button, doesn't do anything, goes back and forth, opens the fridge, opens the stove, puts it down, and the dog eats it. Yeah. He thinks it's something special that he worked Wants on. Wants a fuss. I have yeah. to show him, look, there is food here. Former street cat who used to starve. <laughs> Let me introduce you to your food dish, which is only in the exact same spot every single day. He watched me put food into it just before this started, but then he's been biting me. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, you you'll see me vanish, and that's all. I'm only muting myself so you don't hear me swearing, because I'm gonna <laughs> give him a real nice oh. formal introduction with several four letter words. How kind of you, Cat. <laughs> we can't burn our ears with that language. It's, your virginal <laughs> ears don't want to hear my compound curse words. <laughs> oh, I worry for the cat. Oh, he hears them every day. He he hears oh. me when I'm at work. So. I work oh. from home and it's like, oh yeah, the curse is Poor come kitty, you know, if he ever gets the gift of language, you oh. know what he's going to sound like. <laughs> right? A drunken pirate, probably. Might be. Arr. Arr. <laughs> I won't I'm swear though, because I don't oh want God. to demonetize Susan, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
We are a lively bunch. <laughs> Has so, everyone had a good day? Yeah, there's a wildfire burning near San Diego. Uh oh. Yeah. I look at the puppers. Oh. Puppy. She still wants to record this during our break. She didn't want to turn it off. We might be amusing. <laughs> uh, I don't think so tonight. Hey, did you get a lot of rain this week? Did you get rain, rain this week? Me? Yeah, did you get a lot of rain? Probably no more than you did, maybe an inch. Okay. Just, just enough that I don't have to water in the garden. Yay! Yeah. And, and the pastures are growing, so the animals... Have a little more to eat. That's good. Yeah, at twenty dollars a bale, anything they can eat for free is. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Wow. So, Lee, what do you raise again? Llamas. And to what end, Lee? Uh, a couple of different things. One, I, I love to garden, and so I love the compost, and llamas have this cute little habit of pooping in the same spot. So instead of just everywhere in a pasture, also have incredibly di efficient digestive systems. So the manure is like about 3% nitrogen. It's probably one of the few animal manures you don't have to compost because they're too hot. So uh, yeah, every so often I'll have somebody come by. You know, I'm I'm doing medicinal herbs. Uh, could I get some uh, some llama poop? You know, you know, medicinal herbs. Okay, fine. Uh, I live in a high fire danger area, and so you know, it's nice to have your pastures this high instead of three feet tall. Um, I do a lot of goofy things like parades and visit schools, um, and I do a lot of backpacking. And I'm of the age I'd rather have somebody else carry 50 pounds than me. Oh, are they, that's great. Are they friendly? Oh, they're, yeah, they're for the most part. Yeah. I mean, every so often you get a jerk, but you know, it's, it's I mean, yeah. a human jerk or a llama jerk? Llama jerk. Well, yeah, you get llama jerks too, but uh, llamas, when they're young, will imprint on you and think that you are a llama, which is no big deal until they're two or three years old and weigh 350 pounds. And then suddenly they decide they're higher ranking in the herd in the herd than you are. And you get a male charging you at 20 miles an hour that weighs 350 pounds and wants to play chess, but um, not a good idea. So basically I get, I get a youngster and I pretty much leave them alone for the first three or four months. So they figure out I'm just a food guy and, and not another llama. And then some, you know, then the ones that you're going to take, um, take to parades and schools, you want to, when they get a little older, you want to handle them a lot so that they're good around people. And how old does a llama live to be? Uh, uh, 18 to about 25. Okay. Now, speaking of age of animals, Kyle, you have some very long-lived uh, feathered friends that you were uh, uh, sheltering, not sheltering. What's the right word? Boarding, Boarding is what we Boarding. say. Thank yeah. you. Boarding. <laughs> Along with your usual. Yeah, yeah. Full house in there right now. 
And they live to be very old, some of them, right? Sure do, yeah. Our Yoshi, um, who's 13, should live well into her 40s or 50s, they tell us. And um, parents? Sorry? Are they parrots? What? Yeah, yeah. She's a lilac crowned Amazon, which is a parrot. Okay. Um, Conyers, it's a little less. We got a bunch of Conyers in there right now. Those go like supposedly 20, but this little guy only made it nine. So. Oh. Yeah. I've recently become addicted to watching YouTube parrot videos. They're great. (laughs) What is it you like about them, Stephen? Oh, um, the language. Uh, I had a cousin that was tangentially involved in the Alex project, and uh, I, I'm nice. fascinated by African greys and how they can uh, they use language very differently than humans do. And I'm trying to to sort of understand the differences. Oh. I am as well. That's how I got into birds, actually. I got a question. Um, it's a it's a COVID related question. Um, after five days of uh, quarantine, wearing a mask, can you go? Can you go? And if you uh, out into public, wearing a mask. If you don't have a fever and you're testing negative, and then you, you wear do a mask, have to, you do yeah. have to test. You do have to test negative. Yeah, and you then want to wear, infect a mask people. For, wear a well, mask for another five days. Because I, you know, because I, I. Um, this morning, I te- I still I'm still testing positive, and I and uh, and uh, I I looked it up, and it had said that even it said that five days, if you don't have symptoms, and you're wearing a good mask, that you're not con- you're not necessarily contagious. So I don't know, you know. Uh, so I'm hearing different things. So I I just I can't decide. The guy who hired me for this job tomorrow said, hey, he doesn't care. You can wear a good mask. You come. But I, I don't, you know, like my wife pointed out, I don't know who is uh, immune com- immune compromised and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm inclined if I'm negative tomorrow morning, which is probably I'm, if I'm positive tomorrow morning, I won't go. But uh, you know. is it an outdoor or an indoor job? It, it's 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 in a big it's in a big theater and oh, we'll be okay. on the stage. But but it's, uh, uh, you know big orchestra so we're you know and uh even though i've got a good mask um you know uh you know i i i i hate i hate not to do the job but i guess i also don't want to make anybody sick so i have a uh, question is yeah. the conductor is the person giving you this advice no he's the con he's the he's the guy he's the guy that hired me he's the contractor. Right. so if the if the if the person in charge of the space is willing to, you know, perhaps they, you know, it depends what their policy is. If people are coming into the space knowing that that's their policy and there may be people, that's one thing versus the guy who hired you who gets a commission or whatever saying, eh, don't worry about it. Um. Well, yeah, it was because it was kind of interesting that I was surprised that he would say that. And, and uh, it, it, we, you, until fairly recently, we used to always get we would get this long letter and you have to sign it and stuff with all the do's and don'ts about the, the policies of the theater of the, of the, the organization. And you had to be in the whole business now that now they don't ask you any questions. So you know, they sort of leave it up to you. And, um, uh, and he said his attitude was, well, everybody's going to get it anyway. I, <laughs> <laughs> so you know i i you know it's one of these things you know where you try and you keep asking the questions hoping that one out of the hundred people will say oh yeah go ahead but i i probably shouldn't go you know and uh and here's but, and I'll, t- I'll taste in the morning um yeah or either people have to be informed that there may be people here following these protocols mm-hmm. so everybody is entering the space aware of that or you follow the cdc or whatever I mean, well, I wouldn't do that because if I was, if some, if I heard that someone within the group was sick, I'd say, get the fuck out of here, you know, partner, <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, uh, uh, now, nah, you know, I'm just, I'm saying this, but I, I have a feeling I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be going tomorrow. Are you the only cellist or are you one of several? Well, I'm not a cellist, so it doesn't matter. Well, what are but, you? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> it's the big thing, the bass. The, the big no, double bass. This, no, this is the thing. It's it's um that would have been, that's always a dilemma when it's a small group. But this is there's like six of us, so they bass. won't necessarily, and we're all mic'd, so you know it's they won't necessarily miss me, you know. Um, but uh, uh, you know it's. Uh, you know, you do you do worry that there's there's people who mm. don't take it seriously. You're a good yeah. human being, Alan. Yeah, no, good for you, Alan. Yes. Well, no, <laughs> I'm only a good human being if I don't show up tomorrow. You're a good human being. <laughs> <laughs> You're How about okay. flip a coin? Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> so worried about the we'll be on the Bass edge. Players as I would the horns. Happy Thanksgiving, yeah. Rob. Yeah, that, that's yeah. that has been, and that's all. Oh, that's been a, that's been an issue since day one is you know we're all worrying about wearing masks and the strings and stuff like that right. and the horn players are blasting all their <laughs> stuff all over. Everywhere. But, but the thing is some of them they do they Draining have the they do the have these things but that's that's the thing and the, the winds the winds and brass were, were even at the height of this when we just started mm -hmm. going back the winds and the brass when they were playing did not have to wear their masks uh, and so started. you know so it's like you, you sort of look, you know, I, I realize they're trying to do all this stuff, but I, mm -hmm. I you, you, what's, you don't know what's helping and what's not. It was, yeah. it's, it's, it was, it's a real dilemma. Well, mm -hmm. and you have to think too, like how close are you going to be to people? If you're testing positive, you're shedding the virus. So anyone is susceptible if they're around yeah. you in close contact of yeah. catching it. Right. Yeah, so. exactly. Well, there, you know, I mean, I, I did a, a thing. Uh, I think it was a nutcracker a year or two ago. And so we're in the pit. So we're really close. And the, the woman, the, cell, the cellist, the cellist who sat in front of me didn't show up one night. And then where was she? Well, she she had contracted uh, mm -hmm. uh, she had contracted COVID. So we're all going great. So oh, who's no. next? Yeah. But none of but none of us got sick. That's so, amazing. And, awesome. Yeah. It's it's, so, it's how nobody knows how this thing is, who gets it, who doesn't get yeah. it. It's, it's, well, well, and how many people are vaccinated and everything else? Yeah, Alan, you were, you were vaccinated also. Right? Oh, it makes it. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, that's that's a, I, my my concern all, all along is I figure sooner or later I'm going to get it. It's the timing. I'm more yeah. worried about when I get it mm -hmm. because, you know, it's going to be the worst possible time. You know, yeah, and there's that, never a, never a good time to get it. That's for I mean, sure. my, you know, my wife just got got now because uh, my wife just got it the other day. Her biggest show with her fused glass, her biggest fair holiday fair is this weekend. She oh, had yeah, oh, and man. and because I happen to be working, which I'm not going to be working now, I can't even go and sort of do it for her. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's, it's just one of those things. You know, what yeah. are you going to do? Yeah, you know? that's too bad. Well, welcome, Rob Palmer. We tried Thanks to you keep our, our happy Thanksgiving all. Beginning. I didn't know there would be this many people playing. Yeah, and, and Rob, we have had what three or four who have already left. Vincent was here playing the first two rounds. Wow, I know. Yeah. From the hospital, they let him out. Really no, early. they no. let him out today. Wow. Yeah, so he did really, really well. Like, he We're up vicious up in Canada. It's like, oh, you're <laughs> conscious, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of the hospital. Yeah. My nephew Kevin, who's been coming, had surgery two days ago. He's home. Yeah. Oh. You know, you know, Vincent's like a hockey player. You know, <laughs> he's on the states, but he'll be here. And and I guess there's a couple people with podcasts here, like Kyle. Or should, oh, I I did it wrong. I should have said Carl. You have a podcast. <laughs> I got a new season. <laughs> So yeah, this week, uh, talked to somebody who surveyed a bunch of developers about how they're using these large language models like ChatGPT, in particular, how this thing called Copilot is now getting everywhere and making everyone do their jobs a whole lot faster. So uh, that's this week on Data Skeptic. Awesome. And Rob, do you want to tell us about your article that you just published? That was such a great article. I really oh, enjoyed it. Well, well, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, yeah, this great. was my fourth, I think, uh, for Meet yeah. the First Timers article from SciCon. Uh, that's the name of it. Well, actually I wanted to give you the link. Yeah. Put the link in for sure. Just put the link in. So yeah, I got, to, I got uh, eight people uh, to tell me their stories of why they were skeptics and what they thought about PsyCon. Uh, like Carolyn did it last year, uh, and Faith did it last year. And so I got a bunch of new people this time. So, uh, you yeah. might like reading their stories. Yeah. 
yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun to relive yeah. it because it yeah, brings Randy did it once really nice photo Aiden, that article. Yeah. I, I read it this morning. Good article, Rob. It is Thank good. you. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, I, I like like being able to to like present you know people uh, to the skeptical inquiry community that way. So uh, it's, yeah, kind, that's it's good. kind of it's kind of a cool thing to be able to do for people. And uh, oh. Oh, I, that's another part. Yes, we have to do that. I can do a round next week if you still need to fill slots. Thank you, Carl, for reminding me. And uh, next game. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have right now Wendy doing round one and Rob doing a category. And you wanted to do a category, Carl? Sure. And I need one more category and a bonus for next I'll category. do a... I'll do a category. All right, Jamie. Yeah. Thank I'll, you. I'll do a bonus. Nice. Boom. Ooh, it has nothing to do with programming languages yeah. this time. <laughs> <laughs> programming yeah. languages. Okay. That, that was really fun, actually. Susan, Susan good. should have you do this every week, Adrian. You didn't have to twist arms. She always has to twist arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's the giggle. Yeah, that giggle. Might be it. I'm telling you. Yeah. Speaking well, and of, they want to be nice to the Canadian. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of giggle, uh, I'll be. I might, well, I don't think I'll be giggling this week on the Skeptic Zone. I did a reading, a bit of reading for Richard Saunders about ways to spot bad media, essentially, is what it's about. So you can check that out this weekend. And I I can't remember. He told me some more things. My, my memory is such a sieve. I just can't remember anything. But yeah, so anyone else have any more announcements? You'd like to talk about anything? We're good? Okay. I Nope. Rob, Rob had some speakers coming up, and I'm trying to get them on my calendar, and I didn't take good enough notes. Oh yeah, because oh. you're doing some talks, right? Or you did yeah, a talk? Yeah, yeah. So okay, I think I'll I'll look that up and and have it so I can post it by the end of the Perfect. next round. Yeah, and that's about Havana syndrome and stuff, right? Or mass psychogenic illness. Yeah, I, <laughs> one of the things I did at PsychCon was represent recovering from religion. And part of my task was to uh, find if there are any speakers willing to do a talk on our weekly meeting. And I got uh, three people. So uh, yeah, mm. four, four actually. Yeah, nice. so I'll, I'll, put, I'll put that information in after this next round. Awesome. All right. Anything else? And thank you for reminding me. Uh, Karen. All right, let's go on to round number. Let me just get round number three. And that <laughs> would be Kevin, correct? I have to, and this yep. time I'm not going to forget to give the magic powers. I forgot to do that last time. So, you know, I'm not being. And quite... Rob is clear what team he's on. Oh yeah, we not... have to put we have I to put him on a team. We lost, we lost team members and we're very low. Uh Janine, uh, hey, you lost. Oh, you lost we two, lost... didn't you? And oh, we lost. Team uh, three we lost. Oh no, you lost one. We you also lost, lost one. Jim. Yeah, but so the very low Jamie's, score. Yeah, Jamie's team is behind there. They lost a player. Yeah. But they got Kyle. Oh yeah, they got Kyle. Oh, yeah, we got Kyle. Right. Kyle so you've got three players. Oh, that's right. true. Yep. And you lost Karen. No, not Karen. You lost Jim, right? We lost Jim. Yeah. What, so you what both round, have what, three. What were the categories I missed? So you each have three people right now. So I am so going to base it on a score or that's what I'm going to do. The names of the teams and Rob could pick based on the name of the team. <laughs> I'm going to go with the score because they're two points behind everybody else. So I am putting you on to team number three with Yay. Jamie, Pat, Kyle, and Kevin. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. So what 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 categories did I miss? Let me just. Uh, you missed programming, programming languages. languages. Oh, oh yeah. as a programmer, that oh, would have been nice. Well, and then it US was a good Canada one. Canada land crossings. Oh, I wouldn't have got any help on that one. No. And I need to find Kevin to give him his powers before I forget. I got distracted. I'm up here. <laughs> I need to find you over here. Oh, I know I'm what. I'll find a participant. I know what I'll do. I'll do the search. There he is. That worked Maybe. like a hot damn. All right, make co-host. So you are now a co-host, so you will be able to hop around from room to room. And what's your category? My category is, what is it? Ooh. I'm going to show you a photo. You tell oh. me what it is. Sometimes they have multiple choice. Sometimes they don't. 
All right, Karen, uh, you want to mute everybody? Did, are, are you wait, wait, wait? Are yeah, you going to have a look at these photos? Are, are you going to have a, a going a to have show. a link to the to something where the photos? No, nope, I'm going to show a slideshow. He's going to oh. show it to us. Oh my god! And we're <laughs> muting. We're muting in four, three, two. Unmute yourself, Kevin. Unmute. There we go. Okay, number one. What is it? And there's choices on the right. Apart from the McDonald's Happy Meal toy, a Lego, a Pez dispenser, apart from a monster model, a candy wrapper, an army pin, a Boy Scout patch, a Girl Scout patch, a fireman's multi-tool, or an invention of my great-grandfather. That's number one. What is it? So to clarify again, you're not going to give us a link to this. We won't have access to it afterwards. Um, if so, I don't know how to do that. Okay. So what I recommend everybody do is if you have a phone. Or a screenshot or whatever. Or a screenshot. Yeah. Take screenshots or use your phone and take pictures. Okay. I'm going to go to number two now. That's number one. Uh, the first five all have the same um, choices on the right. The first five. Okay. And then the second five don't have any choices. So the first five are going to be using the same and none are duplicated. Well, I shouldn't have said that. There could be, maybe there's something. You'll see. That's number one. Number two, what is it? Any choices as before? Number three, what is it? Number four, whoops, number four, what is it? You really need a new mic, Kevin. Too loud or too short? Too you low. move your head an inch back and it cuts the volume by three quarters. Oh, it's wow. Weird. Can you hear me now? It's very low. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. That's number four, I believe. Number five. Now, the rest of them don't have any choices. You just have to figure out what they are. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And finally, number 10. And okay, what I'm going to try and do as well, just for those of you who had difficulty getting screenshots, et cetera, I'm going to try and load this in all these into a Google picture thing and share and give you guys the link. Does that sound good? Is there a way I could just share, share what I have? I don't know how. Um, It's PowerPoint. There, yeah. there might be a way to do it, but I... It Not could sure. be imported into Google Slides pretty cleanly, but that's a chore. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. while Adrian does that, would you like to quickly scroll through them one more time? That's a Absolutely. great idea. Absolutely. We Number just one. created an imager album of all of these. Can you do so, that for me? Yeah, and Romero's dropping the link in right now. Lovely. Uh, Beat me to Romero it. Romero saved you so me last much. time on this. Thank you, Romero. <laughs> Here's number one. I'll go through them slowly. Uh, he's Here's already got two. it up there. Great. Excellent. There's number three. There's number four. There's number five. There's number six. Number seven. 
number eight. Number nine. And number 10. Well done. Go to your room. Perfect. How do I unshare first, right? Stop the share. Yeah, good idea. Excellent. Any questions from anyone? And Rob is going to what number, uh, which team? Oh, yeah, I've got to assign him to room. With Jamie? Number three, yes. There you go. Thank you, Karen. You're really good. Between the two of us. <laughs> yeah, you guys do a good job. <laughs> it's taken two, though. I'm so glad you're here, Karen. I'll tell you. And Stephen, you're on you. Glad you made it, you. Hey, glad you made it tonight, Stephen. Oh, Stephen, is Hi this there. the first time you've played? Uh, yeah, somehow oh, I didn't welcome. know about this. Welcome. Is and he in how a did you find out this time, Stephen? <laughs> well, it was uh, I, I was I was happy to be able to show up in time for the computer programming stuff. He might, that he was might such have found good out, He might have found out from me because we were both in the Bay Area Skeptic meeting, and I put the right. link in the chat. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, what room are you in, Stephen? He's in room number one. Oh, okay. So, uh, did you get a message to join? I Stephen haven't gotten a pop up yet. Oh, um, that's weird. So, I, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, no, I don't know why. Because you're supposed to be in room number one. And yep. it's so, hmm. So, what you can do is go down to uh, the bottom of the screen. Okay. And click on the breakout uh, tool. It might say more with three dots above okay. it. I haven't. Okay. And then go up and click the blue join box. There we go. Perfect. Well done, Karen. You guys go to your rooms too. Aren't you helping? Yeah, I've got to go help room number three. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. my room too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Karen, what room are you in? Two. I'm in five. Five. Y you're okay, Karen. You. I just realized that I still had the power to travel between rooms. I, if I had known earlier, I would have gone over to Carl's room and checked it out sooner. <laughs> <laughs> I better fix that. That was fun, Kevin. It was Excellent. really fun. That was good. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to share. And thank you, Ramiro, now. for creating that file for us so quickly. Yes, thank you. You saved the day. Teamwork. Yeah, that really helped. How did you do that so fast? Damn. Because he's Ramiro. <laughs> yeah, Ramiro, that was awesome. Point. He he knows like the MacBook type screenshot captures. Yeah, screen screen. Here we go with the answers. But that, well, and what is mgord.com? I've not seen that. Answers. Yeah. It's a part of a McDonald's Happy yes. Meal toy. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, hey, it, it was what? actually on the bottom of it said yeah. Anthony Hawk, and that's how I found out what it was. Oh. And there's Tony Hawk, and it was a loop to loop. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony Hawk. Huh. That's, uh, that's a connection China. to uh to Mick West. McDonald's Happy Meal. That's, yeah. McDonald's Happy Meal toy. that's a pretty fancy toy. Yeah, it, it was is. a pretty cool one. They're brand new in the package. It's selling for around 40 bucks on eBay. Hey, Rob. Hmm. Yes. There's a question. How do I enter this now on the spreadsheet? <laughs> for the well, questions the, and answers. You, usually people uh, have to I'm gonna post the copy, answers later. Like copy paste. So yeah. you'll have, I will you'll post have the to do it later. Yeah, they post the answers, but their questions are pictures. So, well, that you, Imgur link can't, can't you just put that attach in there. the PowerPoint? Yeah, so maybe you can. Can you uh, send? Yeah, I can figure out how to do that. Yeah, I, I can maybe there's, give you uh, my email address wrapper, or something. Tootsie Pop wrapper, and there's a uh, there's well a done, there's a mystery. Uh, there's there's a myth about this. They Move say down. if you got the one with the Kyle told us Indian yeah. shooting the star, you win a free pop, but that's not true. But it's on every fourth wrapper, they say. Actually, it was you win a Nintendo, but also not true. Yeah, they, they changed it. Now, this Unlike next if one you collected is upside down. Cans, you win a photo down. of yeah. you get when you complete basic training for uh, mm. paratrooper. And <laughs> and uh, I actually found one of these in my stepdad because he was a mm. paratrooper in uh, Vietnam. So mm. I found it. 
and wondered what it was. And I looked it up and discovered it was an army pin. Hmm. This next one, there are two answers for. It's a fireman's multi-tool invented by my grandfather. <laughs> oh! He had a patent for it in 1920-something. Mm. This is the first version of it. The next version had a pry bar in on one end. Kevin, okay. can I just have an idea the of the size, the scale, please? It's in your hand. Your hand would, it's it's about eight inches long. Thank okay. you. Okay, for, for this version, what what? Was it a what could it do? What would it... um, I believe it opened a hydrant and it turned on you, something goes on each end. There's a square on one end, and then the circle on one end does something, and then something like a spanner wrench on the other end. Open three mm. different types of hydrants, okay. I think, and turns oh. off gas, turns off, yeah, gas. probably. Yeah, you, you have one, yeah, I have about four of them in the family. My mother had them, uh, one of them like bronze or something mounted on a plaque somewhere. My brother has it now. I have a couple of uh, rusty ones. And you put it on a shelf next to a bronze kidney. <laughs> <laughs> and it's how a kidney much extractor. Is how much is it on eBay? Oh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know if it's on eBay. It's it's very rare. I've I've looked it up on the internet, and somebody else made a better version of it. Uh, they bought the patent off my grandfather, and they made it better or something. And they, mm. they don't see too many originals. Mm. Next one is the Boy Scout patch. This is the Ooh, World Crest. Boy. It is the most popular Boy Scout emblem ever. At one point, every Boy Scout in the world, not just U.S., would wear this uh, oh, variation of the World Crest. Girl Scouts. That's the Boy Scout patch. Why did I think that was Girl Scouts? But they both used the fleur de lay, Rob. Oh, that is scoop. Ice cream oh. scoop. Old fashioned oh. ice cream, tea, ice cream oh. scoop. I only zoomed in on the handle part so that you wouldn't see the obvious scoop. Oh, part. my freaking God. I used to use one of those at Baskin Robbins. That's what I was hoping people would, would use it and not and couldn't crap. remember. Holy crap. I totally. It's fun amazing. when you do that, though. <laughs> Focus in on a little piece. and. Yep. Uh, Next yeah, one, I did really the same fun. thing. That was a fun one, too. This one is cantaloupe. Uh, yeah. That weird oh. looking shape with the outside of a cantaloupe. But by the way, that, I stole that this one from from Reader's Digest. That 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 <laughs> design for the for the little um, semicircle mm. that clears the ice cream is the best design of any. I can never find I, the scoops you buy in the ice cream and yeah, this one here don't have the that, and the they best. all suck because the ice cream oh. sticks to it and you can't get it off. Yep. A week of a bunch. The next one is spaghetti. spaghetti. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, will you accept pasta? Because we couldn't decide if it was linguine or <laughs> spaghetti or what. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the next one, I zoomed in on Superman and I flipped yeah. it upside yeah. down. Yes. I think people got that one. Yeah. And the last one, Alfalfa. you don't have to have his whole name, but his name is Carl Alfalfa Switzer. Alfalfa. <laughs> Poor yellow guy. We can get that spike down. <laughs> Hope you guys like that. Yeah, that was great. That was, great. That, was great. that was great. Years ago, there was a magazine called Games Magazine. Yeah, they I did, used to subscribe to that. They did that in that. almost yeah. every magazine. Yep. They would zoom in and do close-ups of things yeah. or whatever. Oh. <laughs> the watermelon rind, we were talking, you couldn't tell if that was from outer space or a microscope, you know? <laughs> a lot yeah. of people said somebody thought it was salt flats. Somebody thought it was grass, a glass being crushed or broken or something. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you can send me your PowerPoint and also post the solutions in the chat, that would be great. Kevin, I figure out how to do that. Yeah. I sent you my email so you can, oh, Okay. you can just send it to me by via email and then I can figure okay. a way of putting it into the, into Susan's or, records. Or, or, or maybe Romero can just snap his fingers and it'll be done in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I could just put the link to that in there. I think Romero was really <laughs> magic. I would like to observe that there's been a lot of socializing, a lot of relaxation, not not hurrying, mm -hmm. and it is still rather early. So that's good. <laughs> we're, we're doing a good job, Karen. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So yeah, if you could send, do you see the email there? Yep, I Kevin, see it. Perfect. So if you could just send me your PowerPoint, that will yep. make it very easy. And I also copied the link to what uh, Romero did. So between the two of them, well, we should be able to figure it out. And who's next? Oh my You're gonna course. do the oh scores. 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 Oh, so oh, many things. Okay. Oh, that. <laughs> That's not important, is it? It's just social. <laughs> All right. So I guess we will start with Kevin's team, the square root or the I over eight team. We got eight. Nice. All right. Um, wait a minute. I think it's nine. Which one do you, which two do you think we missed? Girl Scouts and Sextant were our incorrect answers. Oh, That's you are right. correct. You are correct. Yep. Sorry. All right. And so next would somebody be... else thought it was a sextant. Yeah, it was. It looked like a sextant, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I so, did that on purpose too. <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> and the badge, the badge. No, it's a vape. Eight. Hmm. And next would be. Oh, let's go with. Hey, Susan, have you seen any putikikikiki? <laughs> Keeping the trend alive, we got an eight. <laughs> Yay. And pardon my kiwi. We got a nine. Oh. We, the we talked. We talked ourselves out of the McDonald's toy. Oh no! Wow, that's that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And judges' orders or not, Trump still makes me gag. <laughs> like, we got eight. 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 Yeah. Well, that's pretty consistent. Look at that. The outlier there is the nine. Oh, well done. All right. So I guess we now go to Gail, who's going to, I have to give you superpowers. Yes, please. <laughs> and take away the superpowers. Okay, our category is presidents and prime ministers. And the map right. behind me is the ways in which these are selected in those different countries, which is- Muting in three, two, one. You will notice that most of these questions are about American in the beginning, but there are a couple that are even one Canadian. So we're not going to do it all about the United States. Okay, number one, what American president was the first one to be seen on TV? Number two. What American president had a Newfoundland named Vito? Number three. Can I assume that's a dog? Yes, the Newfoundland is a dog. <laughs> Four U.S. presidents never had a vice president during their term as president. Name any one of them. And my hint there would be, if you figure out why that happened, you'll be able to get it. Okay. Number four, President Ulysses S. Grant is known to history by that name, but it wasn't his actual birth name. As a boy, he was teased as Useless Grant since he used his middle name. His actual first name was Hiram. So, what does the S stand for? Where did that come from? And this is his answer to which, what does the S stand for? Number five. Be Susan Gerbic. <laughs> <laughs> which American president was both the first to be born a US citizen and the only one whose first language was not English. Number six, this is not one that we've had before, but we've had the information that would lead you to knowing this one. Number six, 
which U.S. president had 15 children, with the last one being born when he was in his 60s? And just make sure we get the whole world in here. Number seven. Until recently, the shortest serving British prime minister was George Canning, who died after only 119 days in office. But which newer prime minister has now claimed that distinction? Number eight. How many women have served as British prime minister? And that's an exact number. And for the Canadians, who was the first female prime minister in Canada? And number 10, Wikipedia has an impressive list of women who have served as head of state in appointed or elected positions as opposed to not hereditary monarchs. But what country elected the first female president in 1980? She remained in office for 16 years, being reelected three more times. And this is as a president. A prime minister isn't elected directly. They're selected by the party, right? And there are other ways to get to be president. But this is the first female who was elected as the president by the country. And I'm asking for the country here, not the person. Nobody will know their, her name. Okay, any questions? Okay. So okay. we just Are you ready for the answers. Yes. And Kat, I'll look. Oh my goodness, Janine, that was by a hair. <laughs> okay. Can you all see my shared screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We'll go through the answers. This, by yeah. the way, is the map that's up there, and it talks about how they how the pres the the head of state is selected. Question one. The answer is Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, I was surprised too. Like somebody said as I was leaving that it's interesting to learn things. I was surprised. It was at the 19, 1939 at the New York World Fair, and only a handful of local people who had televisions were able to see it. But he was the first person to do a broadcast on television, yeah. even though he was famous for his radio fire, fireside chats. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two is Garfield. And I thought some of you got that one, right? Mm -hmm. He named the dog. Some people knew that he was in Newfoundland. And he named him um, uh, uh, Vito because he yeah. said a rambunctious Congress that he wanted to warn them that he might not sign all of the bills that passed since he considered some of them a revolution against the Constitution. So he named his dog Vito. Okay, okay number three. There are three... Uh, oh, four possible, possible answers. In the 25th Amendment was passed in 1967. Before that, there was no procedure for getting putting a person into the, a, vac a vacant vice presidency. Therefore, all four of these people became president when the president died, and they became mm -hmm. vice presidents who became president, and therefore the vice presidency was vacant, and there was no way to fill it. So any of those four answers, John Tyler, Millard Fillmore, Andrew Johnson, or Chester Arthur are all possible answers. Yay. So, um, okay. Good job. 
I'm confused, but okay. Why are you confused? Uh, what happened with JFK then? Well, it was the law was passed in 1967. So yeah, but he court. but the assassination was before that. So the assassination yeah, occurred at, a, actually. Johnson was elected. Yeah, he had a VP on his second term. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, it's, and this was never had a second had a had a VP. Okay, number three. Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> It doesn't stand for anything. Um, oh, somebody said there were hints in the question. There were. His name was Hiram Ulysses and and Grant, and therefore his middle name was Ulysses, right? And he didn't like Hiram, so he didn't use it. But apparently when he was appointed to West Point, they mistakenly thought, because they only knew him as Ulysses Grant, that he had taken his mother's maiden name. So when they person who uh, gave him the recommendation to go to West Point, gave him the middle initial F for his mother's maiden name, but he never knew that and he didn't, it wasn't something he did. But afterwards, he liked the idea that he was called U.S. Grant. So he kept it, even though it didn't stand for anything. And he did acquire the nickname Sam later on. Oh, I didn't know about that. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Number five. I, I highly recommend the excellent PBS documentary on Nick. Oh my God, we actually got it. I saw, I saw one team got this. It, it was Van Buren. He grew up in the Dutch speaking community in Kinderhook, New York. So he had, he spoke only Dutch. Who guessed by Jamie at the uh, European name that wasn't from any yeah. country. We actually got it. But that was, that was the, the community was that. And all of the pres other presidents before him. Um, were born as British subjects. He was the first one born as an American. Excellent, Smithers. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number six is John Tyler. And it wasn't because of the slaves. Several, I saw several things talking yeah. about Jefferson. Jefferson had one slave that he had sexual relationships with and had children with. And that slave actually was the the daughter of the father of his wife who had died, which is why he had a relationship with her, because he missed his wife so much, this created that relationship. But Tyler really did have um, all those children, and he had very young wives. So he was 60 years old, but he had a young wife, and he kept having children. And his children kept doing that because he actually still has a living grandson. Mm. which is absolutely amazing given the, the math. In fact, the place I found this explained how the math works and he can still, his living grandson is in his 90s now, but he's still, mm. still alive. So although he was born in 1790, it was possible for one of those children to still have, to still have given birth. He had a son mm. when he was in the 70s, who is now in his 90s. And it was going to be in a category I was going to be doing soon. So I won't do that question now. Oh, <laughs> I've actually mentioned Tyler before. Tyler is fascinating because of all of his children and marriages. Mm. And, stuff. and number seven, you have oh, Canadian. You, you knew this, right? Uh, what? Liz Trust was the was the recent, mm. very very brief, oh. uh, prime minister. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Canadians know yeah. British better than Americans do. Oh, yeah, the we, Americans we, we, we only we, had 49 we all knew, days. We all knew who it was, but none of us knew her name. Her name. Yeah. She was there for <laughs> 49 of time, days. Her. I said that, right? Yeah, and I she was. Some of you, somebody, some team knew it. But yeah. yeah. She was also and the last The president. websites are still saying the. the I wasn't speaking for all the teams. I just meant all the people on my team did not know. <laughs> yeah, well, several, several, the several of the websites I found are still saying the previous person. Has the huh. record, but it's, it's yeah, no, updated, she has yeah. the record. Hmm. And number number three. Three, the answer is yep. three. Margaret oh, Thatcher, Theresa May, and her. Right, so they were three all together. Ah, uh, Theresa May, shit. And <sighs> number nine. Ah, shit, that's it. This is the one that I'm, I'm sure the Canadians on me, right? 
19th and first female. Yep. And she's still around. Yep. And finally, number 10, if you haven't gone there, I really, I, I started to count and I gave up. Wikipedia has a page that lists all of all of the women. Iceland. Iceland. Yeah, we should have oh, gone with and the, the, It goes on mm. and on. I started counting and gave up. But there are different ways to be head of state. And there was a hint in the question, and I even talked about the hint, and that was, was president. Prime ministers are appointed by the party. They're elected to be a minister, but then the party appoints them. She was, and you see why, I, that's her name. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, <laughs> that's the reason I didn't ask for the name, but just the country. Mm. But she was elected as president, so it was directly elected by the people. That's such mm. an 80s uh, business album. Mm -hmm. There were there were about um, nine or ten before her, but they were all prime ministers. You could have pronounced the name. Who became president? You could have pronounced that name and asked us to spell it, but Susan couldn't. <laughs> Susan couldn't. But I did. We love I you. I couldn't Susan. either. I couldn't. No, either. I, I thought some of you might have gotten Argentina because she was uh, no. She, but she became president not oh, yeah. but but she wasn't elected. She became president when her husband died. Mm -hmm. And she was vice president. So she moved from vice president to president. So that's it. Very awesome, good. Gail. Thank you. Yeah, that's the category. Yeah. Uh, uh, you good. don't need to paste the uh the answers. I already typed them all in, so we're good. Cool. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> yeah, it was good. All right, so I guess we, oh, share my screen. And scores. Yes, I got ready to go, but forgot to share the screen. Here we go. Yay. So we will start again with the imaginary number group, which is I over eight. They have an imaginary score. Oh, that's you. I guess they have an imaginary score, so we'll just put in I. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's muted still. Count on you, Rob. Ah, wait, why am I the scorekeeper? Um, we thought oh, you were. I think Pick we got a number 10. between one and ten. I think we got ten, right? <laughs> we got ten there. Oh no, it's uh two. <laughs> really? Really? No. Binary, binary ten. All right, binary ten. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, let's go with, hey, Susan, have you seen any unmentionables? Oh, I like that. I feel bad as a Canadian that the only one we missed was the prime minister, the female prime minister of Canada. Oh, no. She came in after I left the country. We no got excuse. Nine. No excuse. <laughs> you leave the country and the whole place goes to pot. That's right. yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I only say that because I actually did remember her name. I couldn't believe it. All right. Then next we will do, oh, okay, let's do the the badge, the badge, though it's of eight. I went out of order. Oh, well. The badge, the badge. I went out five. Five? And next. Six, we, if we would have listened to Cindy. Oh, no. Oh, no. If, you would, if you would listen to you, Karen, because you were right about Iceland. Ah, and pardon my kiwi. Five. Didn't we get six? I wrote down Tyler. Uh, six. Yeah, sorry. Awesome. I know we were going between Taylor and Tyler. I wrote down Tyler. That sounds good. <laughs> and judges orders or not, Trump still makes me gag. Nine. Ah, jeez. And I helped with one. <laughs> Yay! That's you, you it. That's the point. it. <laughs> oh, it's my usual. No my fair, because if you're trying to be Susan, you're not supposed to get ones, right? Uh, so she Ooh. does. She does announce it though but when she gets one. So I thought she I does. She can get points right, but she she yeah. You also have to argue for wrong answers strongly. <laughs> I yeah. guess I haven't been very good at that. I got to up my game a little bit. Okay, so last. We have uh, Cindy. Yay. Uh, I have to give you your special powers now. I'm getting the hang of this. 
You're doing great. You too, Karen. Couldn't have done it without you. Make co-host. All right, perfect. So go ahead, Cindy, whenever you're ready. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to get this in chat. Hopefully. You see where the chat okay. is? Yeah. Okay. okay. Oops. Um, all right, so this... The bonus is about coffee. So it's coffee, mm -hmm. love, facts, and trivia about the coffee. So you got to pick 10 out of these 30 items, quotes, expressions, trivia, or facts that are related to coffee. And let's Ooh. see I can, if I can get them all listed into chat in one go. It's too long. Okay, so I'm going to have to do it in bits and pieces. All right. So for while she does that, those of you who are on Facebook, uh, Susan creates the social trivia by Susan uh, every week. Uh, you can invite people. There's a tool on there, a button you can click and invite your friends that you think you may be interested, who may be interested in trivia to join or do it in person like Rob did when he met Stephen and invited him to come tonight. By the way, can you post where um susan keeps all of the questions and and answers that have been or categories that have been done in the past i couldn't find that the category she doesn't do all the answers of each thing available to everyone but the listing of all the categories is on the page the the facebook invite oh, it, page it is there okay all right in i must the have missed about it. section which is a description of the event you'll see it says see more you click on that and it unfolds into a big long list okay thank you and, and if this game goes on long enough it's going to break facebook mm. there's got to okay. be some character limit there and i think susan's trying to find it <laughs> okay so the the 30 items to choose from would be a souffle when you want to be warm and cozy as Black as a Shoe, Sears Robot Catalog, Cup of George, He Talks to Angels About You, It Was Black, Soft, and Thick, It Was Perfect, Tip, Coffee House Chess, Enjoy Life Sip by Sip, Not Gulp by Gulp, London Stock Exchange, it fortifies the members, it cleans the skin, and dries up the humidities that are under it and gives an excellent smell to all the body. It did not kill me, and it did not make me stronger. Lloyd's of London, blonde and sweet. Um, the, majority of of, the majority of coffee trees in Americas and the Americas originated from one coffee tree transported from Spain and planted on the island of Mar. Martinique in 1723, icy, cold under the lid, wet, New York Stock Exchange, blackest night, sweetest sin, no cow, the mere chink of cups and saucer tunes the mind to happy repose, strong enough to float a horseshoe, it would be easier to survive 4 a.m. with you, with socks off, Black as the devil, hot as hell, pure as an angel, sweet as love. Mercantile Bank, HSBC, Tokyo Stock Exchange, and instant coffee was invented in 1901. So you wanted out of those 30, you could choose 10 
that um, have something to do with coffee. So you might just have to kind of guess if it sounds like it might have something to do with coffee. Some of it's historical, some of it, it's just uh, descriptions cool. or quotes. Some well, so if a description is correct, or like, I don't know, wet, are you going to say no because of some reason? I don't understand how. No. The thing is, if you think it has something to do with coffee, put it down. When I give the answers, I'll explain why they're related to coffee. But you don't have to know if they're related to coffee or the exact reason they're related to coffee. But the other ones are not related to coffee? Yeah. There are 15 related to coffee and 15 that aren't. Juice 10. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All righty. Okay. So where do I... So Karen can send everybody to the rooms if there's no other you questions. Do that. Off Thank you go you. to your rooms. Have a wonderful time playing and discussing coffee. <laughs> Play blonde. Yeah, I've almost got it done. Getting there. All right. So you're not going to join a room? No, I am. I'm just busy putting it into the, because oh. Susan keeps everything here. I will be joining your room. Oh, okay. Uh, so I think I've got 30 here. Yep. I think I got them. All right. Do you know how to get to the other rooms to go look at people? Are you okay with that? Well, I have the uh, breakout rooms. With yeah, so you, yeah, you go to breakout rooms, you can yeah. choose which room to go and spy on. Okay. Sounds good. We'll see you in a bit. All right. Here we are. All right, Cindy, you ready to give us the answers? Sure. Let me put them in chat first. Okay. Yep, that was too long. I had to break it up. Oops, what's happening? Oh. We're waiting. Yeah, I'm, I have too much stuff to put in there, so I have to break it up. Breaking up is hard to do, so. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Neil Sudeco. Oh, I see. Okay, so souffle and icing can be made with coffee. Yeah. Sears Roebuck catalog in its 1902 catalog, it included three different sizes of our special grade of roasted coffee. Cup of George. Oh. We thought it was cup, cup of Joe. Well, that's there too, but um, cup, of, mm. cup of George was before Cup of Joe. Interesting. Mm. The U.S. Army. Ah, there we go. Mm. So you want to read these out, Cindy? Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah still, I'm still good. working on getting them pasted okay. in. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Sorry about that. No it's worries. You can read them. Susan Adrian, as they're put in. Oh, uh, do you want me to do that? They yeah, don't while she's working on it. Faces, so they're hard. Yeah, read them. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's souffle and icing both count. The Sears Robot Catalog counts, because I already talked about that a little bit. Cup of George counts. Originated when the U.S. Army started using a brand of instant <laughs> coffee called George Washington during World War One. 
The dope boys would use the phrase a cup of George for coffee. That's awesome. Yeah. Tip is an acronym dating back to the old London coffee houses, which used brass boxes inscribed with the phrase to ensure promptness. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. From binwise.com. Patrons of coffee houses would leave some money in bowls with this inscription to ask for prompt service. This is how yeah. now how the practice of tipping after a meal came into being. Huh. Coffee house chess. There we go. A phrase that can be both good and bad. It was used by chess clubs to describe a play that was fresh, fun, and spirited, but inaccurate. It was a style of chess popular in the 19th century coffee houses. Serious chess players used to describe used it to describe amateur players who relied on cheap tricks, wild attacks, or cheating. Ooh. London Stock Exchange had its origins in Jonathan's Coffee House, which became a popular meeting place for businessmen to conduct trades and post prices of stocks and commodities. And I like how you've posted all your sources too, Cindy. I'm just not going to read them out, but I think that's great. As a Wikipedia editor, I approve. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> it fortifies the members, it cleans the skin, and it dries up the humidities that are under it and gives an excellent smell to all the body. Is a quote from the Persian philosopher and scientist. Uh oh, I'm going to be Susan now. Avicenna? Don't know. Concerning the benefits of coffee. Interesting. Lloyd's of London began as a 17th century London coffee house called Lloyd's where seafarers and marine insurance brokers met to conduct their business. Who knew? I did not know that. We got Somebody it right. Yeah. yeah well, well, we got it right, but for the wrong reason, but that's okay. Well, I heard somebody discussing it and they had the right reasons. Oh, that that's pretty, that's that impressive. They started a coffee house. We thought it's because they insured the boats that would bring the coffee. But, no. Yeah, we got... Oh, blonde and sweet, wet, no cow are various ways to order coffee. Coffee. So blonde and sweet, wet, no cow. What, can you get dry can coffee? coffee? <laughs> yeah, you can get a dry coffee. That's very little milk. I think that's very Is little. that what that means? Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. According to this book, Coffee Time. And of that's course, really interesting. A lot, a lot of milk. No oh. cow would be. No cow means no milk, no, right? right. No yeah. milk and strong and sweet. The I'm blonde, blonde and sweet. That's that like milk and sugar? Milk and or sugar. Cream and, cream and sugar, yeah. Yeah. All right, next one. Strong enough to float a horseshoe is an Old West description of a perfect cup of coffee. Black as night, sweet as sin. From Neil, uh-oh, Gaiman's? Gaiman's. Thank you. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay, Neil Gaiman's novel, American Gods. You know what? I When I'm doing the podcast, I have to go and how to pronounce that and listen to it several times in practice. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. All right. So where was I? All right. Our character okay. asks her guests how they take their coffee and she tells them that here, wherever they are right now, people take a black as night, et cetera. We're watching American Gods right now. I don't remember that line. Well, probably in his novel, not yeah, in his play. Yeah. It's probably in a novel. Yeah. yeah, so I got that from goodreads.com. They have a lot of quotes on Goodreads. Oh, okay. And the last one, you want to do the last one there, Cindy? Black as the devil, hot as hell, pure as an angel, sweet as love. That was a quote from a diplomat called Charles Maurice de Talleyrand. I guess he's French, Perigold, describing coffee. And I have found that in two sources. And so, so, uh, yeah, I found I, it in two I, different I, sources. Yeah, I got a question with the way this was worded. Yeah. Two, two of the quite the answers actually had coffee in them, talking about coffee mm -hmm. trees and stuff. Why are yeah. they not correct? Oh, that was just the historical, because I made them up. The first um, uh, instant coffee was actually invented in 1771. And then the tree... There was a coffee tree planted in Martinique. However, that was France that did it, not Spain. Okay. So Good. those are just historical facts. Coffee okay. house. Did I put coffee house chess in there? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Well, so, awesome. Yeah. Oh, I guess That's we have good. to do scores now, huh? <laughs> All right. I'll have this under control within... Before Susan gets back. 
Yeah. yeah we were discussing that. What's yeah. next week? <laughs> Is she back next week? Does anyone know her? About until December. Yeah. yeah so in December. Not next week. She might yeah. be able to run it at their time. I just know she couldn't do it tonight because the conference is happening right now. So maybe that's what she was thinking. Anyway, I'll talk to her and uh, we'll see who's going to be running it next week. All right. So let's start with our favorite last place team. The I over eight. I always have to think. What'd you get? What's your score? I over eight. I counted four, but ba Rob back me up. I got six. No, no, I was oh, on mute. I, we got six. Okay, my bad. All right, well, take the consensus or the. Kyle's the, not that good with numbers. The no, mode average. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do the mode. All right, so let's do uh, the badge. The badge. No, it's a vape. Six. All right. And next, pardon my Kiwi. We got six as well. Six. Ooh, six, six, six. What a great number. All right. And let's go to Hey Susan. Have you seen any? Have you? Oh, I can't even say seen. Have you <laughs> seen any? Who's the cake? The cake. Close enough. Oh, That's just enough. for the heck of it, let's do another six. <laughs> and the last team. Been this is hysterical. We also had six. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> the most evil round there's ever been. In this <laughs> Double, triple <laughs> six. The number of two beasts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And the winner, 41. Beast. That's good. 41. Wow. He's He's done. Done. He came in very close. And that's just because I'm wearing two <laughs> double earrings. The, the two double earrings, that's right. It's all Kat's fault. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Made by Colin. By, by Colin. <laughs> well, it, 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 happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everybody. It yes, is happy it Thanksgiving. Is minutes before the hour. And <gasps> I think it really was a leisurely full uh, time and not rushed. And it worked okay. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not going until midnight my time. Good job. So. Good job, Susan <laughs> Adrian. Good job. Good job. Get, get to do it again next week. Awesome. Ready for round Steve six. Again? Steven, come back. It's on, Okay, um, I'll see what I can do. It's yes, Steven. link every time. And some people leave early, as you see, or arrive late. You're and always fine. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And the teams mix up every week. Yep. yep. And don't week. forget to send out a dozen reminders, Karen. I, I love that. <laughs> I, it was so fun. I got to share a couple of them. <laughs> it was good. Good job. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night, all. Bye. Thanks for helping out, Karen. Kevin. A pleasure. Thank you for leading, Adrian. Karen. Yay. Bye. Bye, all. Good night. Good night.